is is every prominent black person in music, I guess, or, or figure, public figure, going to be in this video? I'm not entirely sure, but interesting. But also, we have him on a cross. <laughs> Why did they put him on a cross, man? So, what is this song actually about? So, we got a lot of references towards you know Christianity and stuff, and the, the song's literally called J Christ. What is this song about? The new has come. Okay, pasa mi gente. Welcome to another Ito reacts. One thing I want to say is that if you haven't seen my last video, I'm trying to figure out another catchier name for this reaction series that I have on my channel. I'm thinking about the in-between, but let me know, give me your best comments. I'd love to read some of them, or what is your opinion based on my background and all the stuff that I want to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers this year and I know I can do it, but I can't do it without your help. So please subscribe if you can. But let's get into the video. Today we're doing a reaction of Little Nas X of his video called J Christ, which has been spurring up a lot of opinions literally a week later. So what I'm getting from this video is that he's literally telling everybody from his long hiatus, Montero, right? And the opinions and public eye of based off of that video alone, as far as like a Satanist thing and like it just being like super like bashful of like Christianity and stuff like that. Now he's back making the reference towards how Jesus was resurrected and now he's resurrected in a different sense, probably within his career. It was written and directed by Little Nas X. Okay, okay. Well, I understand the premise of what the video is about. I mean, sure. I think I think anything could be used as a an analogy or a metaphor as to your place in the industry based upon your own life, which I do appreciate he does use that. Don't know if, if Christians are uh, really approving <laughs> of that, but it is what it is. You know, like that's just part of music, just basically coming out with your own idea, your own themes, like your own messaging through what's normal to you. And maybe he's a Christian, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not saying that if you're a Christian, you should also be referencing yourself as, you know, J Christ in, in your songs or whatever. That might be looked down upon. It's like literally saying the equivalent of being like, oh, I'm Buddha, so I'm coming back like I'm Buddha. You know, I'm gonna do all these things like Buddha. I'm gonna do all these things like Jesus Christ. Maybe not be in the best sort of light, but either way, I think I think that's also part of art. Let's see how the music is played out. I think it's just a bass line, to be quite honest with you, with drums. So like with the chords in the background with A minor seven, the With, with G minor in, in when it goes to that B flat, so G minor over B flat, so. Let's see if we can play the whole thing up the way the. Yeah, that's basically pretty much the song. With the symbolism and the music I enjoy because it reminds me of like stuff from Megan Thee Stallion on top of just being like super punchy, especially in the bass and, and piano, I really appreciate when the bass line or the continuous element within a lot of pop songs or a lot of pop music or hip hop rather is especially within the piano or guitar. Very simple chord progression, still effective. Not too much interested as far as the messaging, but I understand where he's coming from. Nonetheless, I like it. Uh, I don't know what else can I say. I, would I listen to it again? Maybe not. But if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get the 50,000 subscribers and I know I can't do it without you because I know we can get there but if you stay to the end of the video thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one